I love to in prime. Nice try sucking up there, Echo. Hey everybody, this is Callum from Tacubin. Um, in this video, we are going to take a look at three Konkin backpacks that we've looked at individually before in the past. Uh, in those videos, we packed in them. This video, we are not packing in any uh, any of these at the moment, or they're empty, I should say. Uh, we want to try to accomplish a few things in this video. We want to explain the difference between the fabric types between the three Konkins that we have here and just look at the details as well as take this opportunity to answer a few uh, popular questions that we've gotten uh, since we've posted our other Konkin videos. So let's start with the introduction. Um, here we have the Konkin Mini representing the Konkin Classic and the Konkin Laptop Series, uh, Konkin Big, Konkin Large, Konkin Kids, uh, because it has the same fabric as those backpacks. So uh, representing all of those backpacks in this video is the Konkin Mini that we have here in the leaf green color. Uh, to the left of it is the Konkin number two in the navy uh, that we have. And on the right here, for you it should be the left actually, um, we have the Reconkin backpack. So uh, these three backpacks represent the three different types or I guess variants or styles. I don't even know how to call them now just because there's so many Konkins, right? Uh, they started off with this material in this size and this was the Konkin Classic. Then they branched off into the different sizes for this backpack. So they came out with the mini, then they came out with the laptop 15, the laptop 17, the laptop 13, the laptop big, uh, or uh, the Konkin big, and then the Konkin kids, which is the same as this one, except it has, you know, uh, a strap that goes from one strap to the other across the chest. Uh, there's just so many different variants, but that's for this style using the Vi Nylon F material or the fabric, right? Then they're like, okay, well, um, Konkin is very popular, but you know, uh, people who work want to use this for a work bag, so let's make it, let's uh, let's update it, let's make it a little bit fancier. So then they came out with the Konkin number two, and so they used the template of the Konkin Classic, so the same size. And then they also said, let's make this in the Konkin laptop 15 inch size. Why not the 17 and 13? I don't know, 15 is just the most, most popular laptop size, I guess. Um, so there you have that. And then the Reconkin, it said, you know, uh, let's try to make use of all the recycled bottles that's out there. Uh, and let's try to make a backpack out of those bottles that people recycle which is great, which is cool. Uh, but they came out with this in only this size and in the Konkin Mini, I wanna say. I have to check on that. Um, but, you know, uh, then this came out. So if you want a Konkin backpack, you, <laughs> you, have, you have to be more specific <laughs> about uh, the size you want and the fabric uh, that you want. So hopefully this video will give you an idea, a better idea, of the difference specifically in the fabric, right? So, cause we've uh, kind of found out from our other videos that the Konkin in general hasn't changed much as it crosses over size and colors and fabric. Uh, it generally remains the same. These three kind of look alike, right? You have the same type of uh, with the handles here, front and back, uh, the same X mount for the straps. Um, you have the same uh, side pocket design that's kind of useless when you have this backpack full. Um, and then you have the same small pocket. Uh, so generally it's the same, right? Uh, so where they really differ again is the size and the materials and the use that they use as well as the, the, the details. And starting with the first detail is the logo, right? The famous Fjall Robin logo. Um, on all the standard Vi Nylon F uh, backpacks, you have the white logo with the red uh, lettering. Um, on the Konkin number two, you have this more sophisticated leather uh, type of uh, logo um, 
which is fancier, right? And then on the Reconkin, you have this embroidered logo that does away with the whole um, round batch, kind of just immerses itself into the uh, spin die fabric there. Um, but the fabric is really what we're here to talk about. So let's start with the original uh, Vi Nylon F, right? Uh, so this is a synthetic material that's meant to be water resistant and wear well. Uh, we liked it. We thought it was very stiff at first when we got it. We've used this now for a while. You can kind of tell it's still holding its shape up well. Um, and it's, it still looks fine, right? It, it doesn't, it, when it picks up scuffs, it's easy to wipe down. Um, it's kind of have you listen to the fabric, if that makes sense, but it's just a solid, basic, utilitarian type of fabric. Um, that, you know, Fjall Robin's are very proud about um, and has worked for them and for their customers. The Vi9 on, uh, or excuse me, the G1000 fabric, however, in comparison, just feels much nicer. Um, you know how chocolate, if you're fans of chocolate, you have, um, you know, the cheap mass produced chocolate. It's chocolate, but it's it's just meh, it's chocolate, right? And then you get something more luxurious, something um, crafted with more care, and it's richer, right? And that chocolate, it has depth, it has substance. Um, and that's kind of what the G1000 fabric is like. When you, when you feel it, it just feels miles better. Um, because they use the Greenland wax to, to kind of uh, make it more uh, weather resistant, it kind of feels like um, after you put on lotion, there's a, there's a, I don't wanna say stickiness to it, but there's just something about it that just makes this fabric feel very nice. Um, you, you, you have to kind of just feel this for yourself. I know it doesn't sound too different, I guess. Yeah, it doesn't sound too different, but it's just a bit softer. At the same time though, it's while it's soft, it doesn't feel like it's less durable. It feels like it's stronger. Um, really tough to describe, but we're, we're big fans of the G1000 fabric, which Fjall Robin also uses on some of their clothing, uh, which is cool. Some of their jackets, some of their pants. Um, so that's pretty neat. And then we have the Reconkin. And this is kind of, it doesn't really compare with the Vi9 on F or the G1000. It's it's just an alternate, right? Um, so if these two are siblings. This is just a cousin, uh, maybe a distant cousin. That, you know, again, looks the same. But if we zoom in here on the fabric, you can kind of tell there's there's little. It kind of I don't want to say pills, but. There's just something f natural about this fabric. Um, and we applaud them for using spin dye, right? Uh, it's definitely environmentally friendly. The colors are fused right into the yarn. It's it's better for color fastness, though we haven't experienced any loss of color on these two. Um, but looking at it, you can tell the color, the color is just built in, right? It's just naturally in there. It feels soft. Like we said in the individual video, it's it's more it sits more casual. Um, the structure that you're seeing here is thanks to the seat foam or the seat cushion uh, that they have in every Conkin backpack. Uh, but generally speaking, this is just an alt an alternative to the standard Conkins. And we were asked recently which one we prefer. Um, the Conkin Classic, which again the Mini represents because they use the same fabric, or the Reconkin. And it was a hard decision. Um, but ultimately we decided uh, on liking or preferring the Vi9 on F of the Conkin Classic um, ahead of the, the spin die here. It's gonna be down to you. Uh, everybody's gonna have their own, their own preference. And we'd love to hear what yours is, uh, if you'd like to share. Uh, but for us, we just like the Vi9 on F better if we had a choice between these two. Uh, and obviously between the G1000 and the Vi9 on F, 
I have to go with this guy. Uh, we wish this came in the mini version, but I guess, you know, they didn't see the value of having it uh, for, for a bag that's more upscale and it, I guess to be used in a professional setting. Um, they decided, you know, the standard size is good enough and then the 15 inch laptop. And if you want any other size, too bad. You don't get the G1000 fabric. Um, but again, hopefully this kind of gives you a better idea of, of the different fabric types, where they stand um, to help you decide what works. Now, uh, moving on over to the answers. One, or the questions and answering uh, portion of the video. One of the most popular questions we get, I guess people like the idea of having the mini uh, be used as a day pack, but they want to know if, if they needed to, can they fit certain things in? So, um, I wanted to show you what a what an iPad, a standard 9.7 inch light iPad looks like in a mini, right? Um, so from the outside, yeah, looks like it fits and it sure does with room to spare. So if you have one of the bigger iPads that's out there, um, you'll see here um, this is place where the corner is right in there um, and you still have maybe a, like an inch on the side and inch, inch and a half on the top there. So if you're looking to carry around a tablet with the mini, not a problem. Uh, netbooks, yes, that'll work. 11 inch laptop, if it does, we don't have an 11 inch laptop, unfortunately, but if it does, it's going to, it's going to be a very tight fit and what it'll do is it'll start poking out. The corners will start poking out like this, right? Um, so it may not be the most, uh, the, the best fit um, for the laptop, right? You might wanna consider getting a, a bigger laptop or a bigger Konkin in that case. Um, then we were asked, well, can you fit a binder in here? So we have a standard one inch, uh, 10 by 11 and a half binder. Doesn't look like it'll fit from the outside. Um, we're not even, well, yeah, sorry guys, that's not going to fit. Um, it's, the width is okay, it's just too short, uh, or this is too tall, too high for that. Um, so, sorry. Maybe like a moleskin, um, those those journals, the notebooks, that, that should be able to fit, but just the, on the smaller size, the standard binder unfortunately will not fit. Both of those things we looked at obviously will fit into either one of these classic sized backpacks that we have. Um, so there shouldn't be a problem there. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Um, ask us in the comments section below this video or ask us on Twitter. Uh, we'll be happy to help you answer them. Uh, thoughts, comments, what do you prefer, the colors, share them. You know, um, let us know what you like. And again, uh, we appreciate you watching this video. Hopefully it helped you decide uh, which backpack to go for. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Shout out to Poland.